Good morning, good afternoon, good evening. This is the Wix online meeting 195, September 3rd. My kids are in school, well, at home in school, making life a little bit more chaotic around here. I hope you all are doing well. Let's go jump into the agenda and we'll do the roll call like we always do. If you're here, say hi. Jake has been hanging out with us as we're talking about things as wild as how Lake Michigan and Lake Huron are one actual body of water. Um, as always, these meetings are recorded for those of you that aren't with us right here, right now. If there's anybody else out there, say hi. Uh, this week, we're going to do the same thing we did a few weeks ago. Uh, we missed the last meeting, so we will do triage. We'll go through the open issues that are out there, and then uh, we will do Wix 4 preview triage continued. Uh, a couple of us wrote down the numbers, so we should pick up where we left off, which is a good thing. And then, as always, we'll do questions, comments, other things people want to talk about. So let's go start with triage. Bob, you ready? I am ready. Woohoo! All right. Um, I'm starting in reverse order. You know, I'm going to sort them the other way so I'm more consistent. Um, all right, 6223, custom action attributes should use ID or ref suffixes instead of key. I think that's correct. This is, there's a couple places. Yeah, binary key and file key. Yeah, it should be binary ref and file ref. That would be more accurate because they actually refer to things in the binary and the binary table and the file table. That and key sense. is kind of a... It's, I don't know, I always find it a little weird, but... Um, it's probably what yeah, it's exactly it's, called inside the MSI documentation. It just got carried over way back when, and we should fix that um, oversight yeah. and make it more Wix-like. Um, so is Wix-like ID or ref? Ref. Binary ref. Isn't it? Oh, yeah. okay. Good. I mean, you, you I don't me. know that we use them elsewhere for attributes. Element names, yeah, but I don't know that we've used those for attributes before. Uh, this is an. <laughs> this is this is why I listed both. Well, oh, yeah. So, actually, this is an inconsistency. Um, in Wix, where we don't always. Things that are refs as attributes are not always listed as ref, or do not always have their name as ref. Correct. Some, and sometimes they're like blank. It's like file. Yes. Which uh, is, I think in, in a couple of elements, file is a reference. And it's, it's uh, <laughs> you discover this by the doc if you're lucky or by error message if you're not. These should be ref, and we could discuss whether those other ones should change to ref as well. Because yeah. that is a reference. It is not an ID. I don't want to put the ID on them, because ID should be, this is, we are naming this thing an ID. That should be where ID is used. Um, yeah, like exactly what Jacob just said. The ID should be used to define the element, not a reference to it. Um, I mostly agree with you, except that that does tie them together more neatly to indicate that if you are going to reference something, it needs an ID. Which is a mix, right? Because as Jacob points out, unless the element is a ref, so then you go, huh, yeah, that gets interesting. So binary ref, for example, ID matches the ID of the binary element that it's a reference to. But we're talking, this in this particular issue, we're talking about um, elements that, you know, don't have a, uh, you know, that kind of singularity. Well, this is, this is an attribute that is, that does the same thing as a binary ref. Like it is the binary ref um, here. Right, right. And going back, there's um, an XML land, and I don't know if this is just a convention, and it's certainly not long adhered to, but 
XML had ref as an attribute to refer to other elements. Yep. So, so it's it. it this is a yeah. I I think it's I think everything's fine. Like binary ref ID. Yeah. Okay. It, it's a little. Um, it's a little uh, weird in that we're giving the ID, we're giving a ref an ID. No, no, we're not. We're you're absolutely yeah. right. The alternative is to have a binary element with a ref attribute on it, but then we end right. up with the two binary elements: yes. one that defines a binary, yep. another one that, if you have a ref, and yep. if you have a ref, you can't I, have any I, other attributes on it. Right. And that that has not worked out for us terribly well in the places Agreed. that we allowed that. Agreed. Yeah, it's it's the difference between binary being a a, a noun, you know, defining yep. a binary blob, and binary ref being a verb. So correct. I, I think it's fine. I think it's fine, and I agree that ref is is the best for suffix because it matches the element names, which isn't entirely consistent, but that's okay. Yeah. I think uh, it, it, it fits well together. Yeah. And I would, and we can debate the other ones. I'm thinking of directory being one of the most interesting ones where usually it's just like sure. shortcut directory. Yeah. Yeah. No, that agreed. That should be directory ref. Even with inline directory syntax? Ta -da. Dun, 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 dun. Um, it's making things a little more complicated. Um, yes, it is. <laughs> Never mind. <laughs> um, but yeah, okay. So, however, I think we all very simply agree that key is not the right answer. Um, yes, there we go. Let's and ref, what we can agree. ref is the right thing. It's not ID. That doesn't feel, that doesn't land right to me. Okay. Yeah, yep. and Jacob says the same thing. Yay, we're all in agreement. Oh, language design. Exactly. And some of these things are accidental. The other thing is, I don't know how many people get confused with that part. You know, it's like yeah, binary ref probably. ID. How much does that really confuse people? Now, I do know that people do get tripped off sometimes like, is this actually creating a directory or is this referring to a directory? And you just kind of, as you said, you have to know. Yes. Right. All right. Now that's, we that's where we could do I think a little bit a little bit more. Yeah. Yeah. All right. Now we're going to hit a wall of of more UI um, issue or uh, sorry uh, usability issues. Accessibility. Accessibility. Thank you. Um, mm -hmm. More drive-bys. Um, I, I I went through these when they came in in a long stream. Um, as you can see, I, I read this one in particular and went, huh? I don't even, and it's not providing that, much about setup progress while installing the setup. Yeah. Does it um, announce every progress point? Is it, I don't, I don't know. See, so I asked the question 27 days ago, what is it supposed to do? Because I have no idea from this bug and from from the uh, as you can see, there's an attachment, and it's a screencast of the person who actually is reporting the bug versus the one filing the bug, um, going through stuff. But even after watching that, I still don't know what it's supposed to do. Now, maybe if I were an accessibility expert, I would just go, "Oh, of course, that that's what it means." But um, yeah, Jacob, these are all bundles. This batch is all about bundles. Okay, we have an issue to tie these all to. Do we have to look at each of them, or can we just go, yes, these all need to yeah. go into the bucket well, of... There there are two. This one and 6226 okay. are interesting because they're, it's not clear to me that these are, that these are actionable. The others, I believe, are actionable, but they're... You know, again, they're drive-bys, and we're not getting any feedback from the person who opened the, the Should bug. Should be highlighted in red color? No, there's nothing in Windows that highlights anything in red color no, naturally. Yeah. Like, that's not a thing this to is, do. Uh, occasionally, but... Not... But... 
Not but, in Win32 anything. No, no, not in Win32. No, you're right. I, I say occasionally, meaning UWP stuff occasionally. Sure, you WPF, uh, you can do whatever. It's much more Wild Wild West and, and web-like. It's like, yeah, redraw everything. But Well, also, it's not clear to me that so the reason I'm bringing this one up, it's not clear to me that leaving it empty is a bug. Unless the the, um, the tool that they use highlights it in red. Maybe. No, no. no? That, well, that's the other thing. This, this isn't an accessibility bug. Oh. This is, this is a, I don't know. I don't know what to call it. It's just. Oh, I see. They just don't like thing. the way this thing behaves. Yeah. This like input validation. Yeah. They they're expecting input validation. It's not giving it, and so I guess that's supposed to be a bug. Uh, and, oh, I see. And maybe you can argue that that's true. I don't know about empty because, you know, I depending yeah. on I don't know the behavior, but that could just be the default. And maybe you can argue that if it's a a path edit control, then you know we should validate it. Doesn't that get which is a nice feature set request? Correctly, if you have the Sean, do you remember if the text gets set in this text box by default? It does. I mean, if it's set to something, yeah. Like if you offer the bundle, right to have an empty variable, then yeah, it's going to be empty. Sorry, th this is uh, this is all standard BA. Yeah, that's what I thought. And I thought standard BA would, if you put the correct variable in there, it would do the right thing. It does, um, it does pre-populate. It. it does pre-populate. So then I disagree with this red color completely. And then the only thing left is if you leave the value blank, should it tell you, hey, this is a required field. And we don't require that today you would have to have a condition or something that prevents that, I guess. Well, yeah. so the only thing I'm, and again, the reason I brought this, this particular bug up is should Wix standard BA validate that, that field given, and, and remember this is Wix v3, given that Wix standard BA knows that that's a particular field. Uh, sorry, that that field is particularly for um, install location. Technically, it doesn't really do that because it's just relying on, you know, normal uh, variable behavior from Femutal. But these are themes that ship with Wix, and they all have install location. So, so a V3 doesn't have Femutal variable stuff. Sorry, I meant it, it does. It's it, Wix standard BA, right? It, it yeah, Wix standard BA does. Right, um, and it knows, so it'll it'll set the variable, you know, the install folder variable that the themes use. Right. So I don't think Wix standard, technically Wix standard BA does not know that that field is an install location, but the themes, quote unquote, no, they have no code, so they can't really know anything. And they're also not sentient, so they also can't know anything. Um, but that's... That's what I was trying to say. That's not true in V3. V3 does no, have that as a specific name. Right. So that right. No, I understand. I understand. I'm saying that because we ship themes that call that the install location, you could argue that we should validate it, that it's a path, that it's a valid path. This, this is clearly a feature request. I'm not you know, arguing against that. Um, and also it's not something I would suggest at all taking in Wix v3. So it's a question of in, you know, before, do we want to, I don't know, do we want to, I, I don't want to add this to theme util. That seems way overkill, but you know, we you can argue that. I think input validation is just a big, huge feature for the theme util stuff that we've been yeah. building. Yeah, I, and yeah, this isn't it. <laughs> it's kind of like, yeah, go write a, um, what are those called? The extensions to the standard BA. Um, BA functions? BA functions kind of thing. 
uh, yeah, I, 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 I bring this up only because it's, it's not completely unreasonable to say that we should validate a field. If we're calling it, sorry, we should validate an install path. If we're, if the theme is calling it an install path, eh, yeah, we should probably, you know, um, we should probably do something there. But like, I don't think we're going to do that in V3. And Definitely then in V4, not. there's no way for Wix standard BA to know that it's an install path. So we kind of have to close it as, yeah, we're not doing this in V3 and we can't really do it in V4. Without a bigger validation feature of some sort that needs to be completely designed. Right. Yeah, so no, that one goes away. And it's not a screen reader okay. release issue. Yeah. No, it's not. Um the the one on on six two two four. We need more info and and the person has not responded in almost a month. So I would I would close that as we can't do anything without more information. Yep. The the rest I think are straightforward. They're or they're not they're not straightforward. You still need to be an accessibility person of of some level, but they are clearly um, accessibility issues for which we have a thing that says we need someone to come through and help us do an accessibility yeah. pass. Yep. All right. Now we're down to Sean's specifying inner text where it's previously allowed should be an error. Yes, we should definitely do that. And we probably should do that for 4.0. 4.0 preview, preview zero? zero. Sorry. <laughs> the, the other part of that for preview zero. Because yeah. this is probably going to catch a lot of people. Because I know it's been it caught Sean by surprise. I think, right? Yeah. yeah. Why is it working? Caught me by surprise too. Oh. Because okay. when we did the all the condition changes. Yes, that's the biggest one. Um, several of the extensions, most of the extensions, did not get completely updated, ah. and because there was no error, oh, because it's not stuff failing. just disappeared. Yeah. All right. Um, you can give this to me. I'll go back and. Make sure that works correctly. Unless someone wants it more than I do, but I assume that's not true. Wix for assembly should be strong name signed. I feel like we should already have this issue open somewhere, but um I couldn't find it. Uh do we need this in preview zero? I don't know that we do. Mm, yeah, I guess we could we could It's right on the board. Let's put it in preview zero, it could be a good thing to just get done and out of the way. I certainly agree with that. Yeah, okay. Light.exe creates corrupt cab files. That seems unlikely, but I guess it's possible. Oh, and no answer. Yep. I'm willing to let this float another All right. meeting cycle. Okay. But I wish people would read the thing that says fill this out, fill out one section and delete the others, but they never do that. Well, at least this one included most of the data. It did. Most. Um, yeah, that's odd and should not happen. I guess it's possible, but um, yeah. We need to see that cap. All right. So, uh, we're going to let that one float for a little bit longer. All of these others will turn into that. I think we're on our way to preview zero. Um, review. And we said we left off at 5253, right? Uh, does that mean it's we decided the last on it? One we did. This is the last one we did, right? I remember talking about this. Uh, not having a preview zero. Um, request support for mathematical operations within dialogue controls. Hmm, that'd be kind of cool. Yeah, it's a reasonable feature request. I think it could come later. But yeah, math. Is is sorry. I I remember some of these being. Yeah. Okay.
sorry, that I just Oop. was weird. What was weird? All good? Yeah, never mind. Tell me. Uh, but not preview zero. Someone could add that later. I'm not sure I'll even make it 4.0 if someone's not going to step up. I don't think I'm going to get to it the way things are going. So someone else is going to need to step up for that one to happen. It's MSI UI. Yeah, right. MSI control with type hyperlink doesn't support transparent and no prefix. Is this our fault? Hmm. Okay. It's, I think, mostly a question of what the control actually supports it. All right. Well, that's not preview zero. Um, that could be FX yeah. later. It's like, oh, yeah, do we support, should we support that? Yes. Oh, well, then we probably should do that. All right. Um, light, it would be nice to keep the generate MSI even if validation fails. I think this is fixed now. Because, well, one, we don't have validation wired in yet, <laughs> but technically, but, technically, you're right. This is fixed then. But even if it was, the MSI would stay in the OBJ folder, so it would still be there. It just wouldn't be into the put into the final output folder. So I think this is fixed, but we should keep it open. But it's not a preview zero. When validation comes back, then we can do that. Um, improve static analysis. Static analysis? I don't think this is static syntax. analysis. Yeah. Oh, syntax analysis. Um, so he had a typo somewhere, in the, and the preprocessor went out to lunch, huh? No. This was... Well, uh, yeah, okay. Kind of, sort of. I mean, this is this isn't the preprocessor. This is um, this is the fact that loc strings. Once we see anything looking like a like a loc string, we ignore it. So. Oh, this one's not closed. I see. Yeah. And then you get what a bad error message later, or no, or something doesn't work, right? He was. There, I mean, this this is kind of yeah. a pathological case. Um, yeah, but it's real. So it's just like, oops. And then if you really can't find that through any kind of error message, that would be unfortunate. Um, the problem is, it's 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 not it's not syntax. The the we probably put that string in. By itself, right? Well, it, it just it goes in, right? It's not a loc string. I mean, right. you can. the The problem is to actually detect this, unless we, um, you know, look more carefully at at you know random strings, is is you know you're not going to detect it without knowing that you know a bitmap control on a dialog needs something in this particular format um well we could say that if we see bang parent that you have to escape that it has to be well formed to, it has to be well formed right and yeah. then you would escape it and you'd be everything would be fine again you'd be like yay it's instead of saying that the whole thing has to be proper loc variable for us to lo treat it like a volt variable they would say if it starts and it looks like it's going to be a loc variable with the first two characters, then uh, we will treat it like a loc variable, essentially. Now, I don't know how many people that would break, so it's definitely a 4 thing. It's like how often have people done bang parent in the middle of a string without a closing parent anywhere near it uh, that then you know, would normally turn into that. That would just carry through with no problem. And now in Wix 4, it's going to be an error. It's like, hey, you started a loc string. And you're like, no, I didn't. And you'd have to go find it. I'm not sure it should be an error. I mean, a warning then? Because of that. Yeah. Uh, maybe maybe it's fun. You know. Hey, uh, did you mean to make this a loc string? All right. Because if you did, it's not going to work. Okay. This is not preview zero. Fact, let's, let's put that message down here. 
that about making it a warning. All right. About okay. To having because it's essentially it's the resolver, right? And the resolver could essentially say if the resolver sees things that look like what they it, like it might be a a, res, a variable that could be resolved, but then isn't, just spit out a warning for that. That would have helped him a lot. Yeah. Condition evaluated when executing a bundle with slash layout. That's true. It does. It does. And they don't want it to? Should not be evaluated because nothing's actually being installed. Mm. I don't know. What do you think, Sean? I mean, I can see why they would think that. <laughs> <laughs> we know why it behaves the way it does, because, well, it's there. So, of course, it's that. Um, um, I don't know. Don't evaluate ball conditions when the command is layout in Wix standard VA. Yeah, I buy that. Probably I mean, it probably should be. Aren't there other Help. operations Help. as well? Yeah. <laughs> you can't show help. <laughs> you can't have the right pre con pre. What? Uh. Uh, yeah. All right. Uh, but does not be preview zero. Reevaluate preprocessor language. Make it less. Oh, wow. <laughs> Um, um, <laughs> are we going to flog the guy that opened this thing? Like, at least sure. it matched the template, but seriously? Oh, I see. There's a refer to this for making it less odd. Yes. Executed before the command line variables are created. What? Uh, what? The dash D expect the preprocessor if NDEF located to recognize the variable to find on the command line. Oh, if ndef, oh, yeah, okay, fine. This is this is one of the, I, I didn't call it out because I was obviously trying to be too clever with my actual bug template. Um, but the, my my focus here was specifically about um, if def and if ndef and all that. Um, if is is a little more clear because you do need to use um, you know, dollar per n there. Um, but if def and if and def, it's like wait, basically what? allow both syntaxes, syntaxes, syntax. I um, allow Syntaxy. both. Yeah. You basically or, say or recognize this as. Out. Oh, oh, oh yeah. okay, yeah. I mean, right. obviously that would be the the politest thing to do. Because otherwise, what would we do? I guess we could resolve that variable and tell you if the thing that it resolved to was not defined. I, f I find it hard to believe that that's what we're doing either. Um, right. Um, okay. Uh, that doesn't have to be preview zero, but okay. Yeah. And if you want, we can, you know, open, reopen 5259 and close the other one. I don't know, whichever way, it's fine. We'll deal with it. I'll, I'll do that. Okay. Because otherwise you're going to mock me for my my bug issue. I think appropriately. <laughs> well, fine. <laughs> I got a laugh out of Sean. That was totally appropriate. Um, Foro, developing a Foro, uh, hex decimal value. Oh, this is fixed. Okay, give this to me, put it in preview zero. Yeah, I fixed this. This was a nasty bug. Really? Yeah, I'm tracking this down. It was a um, encoding difference when you don't specify the encoding in a particular way, or something like that. Um, rather, we oh no, we switched from one overload to a different overload in the XML writer, and that changed how these got encoded, and uh, it was very subtle, very very well, subtle. That's... Took me a while to figure it out, and I hit it in a completely different way. Not with that, but that's the same issue. So go ahead and put that in preview zero. I will resolve it against the fix to it so it has the proper thing. 
separate fee for minor releases of Wix. Yeah, we will talk about that later because um, most of it's moving to NuGet. This may be a dead feature. Um, light, uh, but it's not for Preview Zero because the dot .NET tool is the only thing we're shipping for Preview Zero. Light, misleading error message when last written date is not supported. Okay. Oh, value does not fall within the expected range. Well, that's pretty not terrible. That's that's pretty terrible. Pretty not terrible. That's pretty terrible. Um, pretty not good. Pretty not good, yes. Um, but not a preview zero. But, yeah, we shouldn't fail that way. That's bad. When last written date not supported. Interesting. Um, OA Wix project configuration unique. <sighs> what? Is this votive? Which yes. allows bulk. Okay. This doesn't have to be 4.0 anymore, right? This is just votive. Am I wrong? Oh, actually. I'm assuming it's votive. It was tagged as votive. Yeah, this is inside votive. Oh, and I did it, so it must be right. Oh, I see. Do we have a votive milestone? I see. So someone else wrote an extension, and when Wix deals with that extension, it fails. Got it. Got it. Got it. Votive because deals with we're that not. Yeah, when votive deals. Great. Not a Wix 4.0 thing. That's a votive problem. Allow contact and comment attributes in the bundle element. Uh, doesn't have to be preview zero, but seems. Oh, this is for ARP. I guess it's additive though, so it wouldn't break anything. There should be a better error message. Fail to save the resource 87. Uh, yeah, give me this to zero for preview zero. When loading icons from, oh, is this, no, this is for burn. Oh, from burn. Yeah. Sean, this is you. No, um. <laughs> Which resource caused the failure when saving, inserting into the final bundle exe? The problem would be resolved. We, I, I mean, we can support this, but the first feature request after we do is, okay, now how do you, let me pick a different icon than the first or whatever. Yeah, I mean, but, if we support exes, then we have to support indexes as well, icon indexes as well. I'm not saying we should support. No, we shouldn't. I'm not. Uh, we don't have to support XE. We should just put on error mesh that says. Oh, oh, I see. Okay. <laughs> uh, not, you it's, you it's did not, not give an us an icon. icon. <laughs> like, cool. Whatever you fed us is not an icon uh, error. And then you don't get uh, something went wrong. And you're like, I have tons yeah. of Wix code here. What do you mean something went wrong? Uh, so yeah, these need. All these need to go away. Uh, Sean, you want to take? that one, or do you want me to take it? Wait, it doesn't have to be in preview zero. preview zero. It doesn't have to be in preview it's zero. No. I mean, okay. it's, it's a better error message. We should have a better error message, but it doesn't have to be right away. Reboot pending burn variable should include bundle pending reboot. Oh, yeah, I could see that. Oh, yeah, okay. I don't know that that has to be in preview zero. That's, no. I, that makes sense to me. Allow a default value on util research. Did you guys do this already? Feel we like... designed it. Ah. <laughs> hey, have half the battle. Great. Not a preview zero thing. Cause it's a new feature. Burn should expose upgrade code and ID as a variable. Near is very wrong about using the tag for this. That's not what it's for, but whatever. Um, Agreed. Okay. It's a feature. Mm, yeah. It could be added. Wouldn't break and anything. Additive. Wix 4.0 feed can't be parsed. That's fine. We'll have to go. We haven't done anything on those, and that's not happening in the beginning. Wix extension user include comment property. Well, that would be nice. Fine. Fine. 
They would like to be able to set the comment on the user when creating it. Whatever. Operator tilde does not equal does not work. Generally works, but not with empty strings. Huh. Yeah. Is this a thing? Do we need I don't this? Know, someone preview? should write a test and see what happens. Yeah. I don't, do we need this in preview zero? I mean, no, no, no. Subtle change, but it's like, yeah, it'll probably behave more like you expect it to. Remove repair commands from .NET Firm. Yes, we should do that. We don't need to do that in preview zero. Deprecate and remove package element. really want this done. Give this to me. Or no, it's assigned to Bob. That's great. We should do this in preview zero for doing it. But I really would like to see this done. Well yes, but All right, you know, you, you and I can you and I can arm wrestle it for it. <laughs> I was gonna say well no, no I I'm happy to do it, but you know, we've we've not uh I think come to terms about what all we want to do. No I wrote not. I wrote up my whip is different than what you want, put oh. it that way. All right, well, then we should discuss this, and we should discuss it in preview zero. I um, okay. That, I, fine. Because we should, if we're getting rid of this thing, we should get rid of it. And honestly, yeah. Yeah. it kind of goes with that other one. Where is that? Bundle this one. Allow. Can we put the contact and comments attribute in preview zero as well? Only because it should go with this package when we talk about both of them, we should revisit them. Essentially, oh. the bundle and the, the product element and all that should end up with very similar set of attributes on them, which is... Well, in fact, there's an issue, and I don't know that it's going to come up, I don't because I don't remember where we assigned it. Um, there's an issue to add, I think I just called it an ARP element. Yes that would let you specify all of these things without using MSI properties and would be better about icons and blah, blah, blah. Yes. And that could be shared with bundles. Yes, it would have to be in the bundle element or in the... No, I guess it would. It would be a virtual symbol that would last and then be turned into properties or into the right bundle stuff. Yeah, okay, I could live anywhere right. then. Um, yeah, okay. Yeah, so that that's what we should talk about. These these all these go together. We should I think we should normalize the bundle and the product on that front. Okay. I agree. And we should do that in preview zero. So it's like probably I've kind of lost track of things. Probably one of the biggest design things in the compiler, like in the that affects MSIs as well. I know there's a couple of things that burn. But yeah. Um, you're doing this now, right, Bob? So that, I guess, is preview zero. I don't know. I don't care. Um, support MSI transactions. That's an interesting idea. I don't think we're going to do that in preview zero. Sorry, you were... Sorry. Switch to... Oh, okay, okay. I, I wasn't sure. Um... Switch to mark dig markdown this processor. Is, this is done. Yeah. Oh, is it? Great. This is Fantastic. Yeah. Well, because we're no longer generating HTML from the doc build, that's all managed on the site, and we're no longer generating HTML for a chum. So, yeah, no. we're done. Okay, great. And support MSI transactions is an interesting thing, but not in preview zero. Using... It's already there. Oh, it's already in? V4 already has this support? Sean already added yes. it? Yeah, near I you brought his near so This should be closed. What's left on it? Then? I asked for changes on his pull request, and I guess he's not going to do them. So now I need to figure out what I want to do there. Got it. Okay. Um, preview zero, your choice. Uh, I mean, it's already there. It would be internal. Okay. Things. Got it. How it was implemented. And it doesn't change the language to support, or the language support has already been added. Right. Yes. Okay. Great. Using and if there's bugs in it, don't use it. Okay. Got it. Great. That'll work just fine. <laughs> That'll work just fine in preview zero. 
um, using variable in registry search for Win64 attribute. Uh, Oh, the problem is with IntelliSense. Compilation isn't affected. So this is a doc uh, XSD problem. I see. Apparently. Great. Um, let's put this in doc. And I don't know, we don't have to figure it in preview zero. We should fix it, but we don't have to figure it Running a bundle with layout quiet with a reboot caused an unprompted reboot. <laughs> uh, I have no opinion. I guess this is a preview zero. Um, yeah, if you do a layout and a quiet and a reboot is pending, causes an unprompted reboot. Really? Apparently the order matters. If you do... Oh, uh, no, never mind. That's He's saying what he wants it to do. Yeah, I Run guess... a burn bundle that requires a reboot before completion. Exit without rebooting. Now run an upgrade or the same bundle with the arguments layout and quiet. The machine will suddenly reboot with no prompt or warning. <laughs> um, yeah. So this is another thing where layout's doing more than it should. <laughs> But I guess the burn layout thing. could always add no restart or whatever. Well, <laughs> I would I would I would argue layout should never okay do shouldn't even prompt. <laughs> it's, it's well yeah I mean that would sorry that would prompt be, the BA. layout layout <laughs> layout shouldn't do the things that are involved in in you know. Uh, machine operations because it's layout is just downloading and laying out files so you know but ball conditions should not trigger reboots should not be considered pending reboots should not be blocked which i'm actually curious about whether that happens it did that install is pending Note that so. in step two, invoking just layout will yield a warning that the install is pending. Oh, I see. Huh. So, okay, uh, I, this basically says rework layout to ignore most of the other things. So, okay. Um, sure. I, we don't have to do that in preview zero. Um, just making it behave better. Wix 4 can't build MSI with dependency extension data. Is this still a problem? Or have you already fixed it? I haven't tried. Uh, oh, no, the dependency extension is completely broken right now. Okay, give this binary. to me, and I'll put it in preview zero, because I'll, I'll fix it. We should have that. Or it's Oh, it's not preview zero, because this one's not in our list. Okay, but you can give it to me. I'll fix it. But we don't have to then. Burn should support sideloading Apex packages. That would be cool, but it's not preview zero. XML config crash. Um, this doesn't have to be preview zero. Oh, candle reference. What? In the util compiler. Yeah, all right, give this to me and put it in preview zero. These are all, I just have to go figure out why it's crashing. Those are all straightforward bugs for me to just sit down and fix. All right, I'll take that or in preview zero. Because they're already fixed. Or or resolve them and go, oh, yeah, I fixed this with this change way back when. Support for IS ha um, handler mappings. Uh, oh, I see. So it's a feature. The feature I envision would look something like this. Yeah, okay. Not preview zero. Burn detects per machine packages as per user when run as local system. Probably not preview zero. Um, this is, I already have a fix for this, actually. All right, well, it doesn't um, have to be preview zero. Yeah. Um, trend micro vision blocks for use of run once. Is this the fix you did, Sean, with the whole try again? 
Um, was it Microphosis? Trend Micro? No, it's I didn't do anything with Run Once. Oh, Run Once. I don't know if this has been a problem for quite a while. Uh, yeah, so when you try to run, try to write the run once, the antivirus will block it. I don't know that we have an answer for that, do we? No, well, we haven't. I don't think we've fixed. We still, we, with all the other stuff around run once, we have always come back to, we need run once for, yeah, you know, to handle the reboots. <sighs> yeah, right. I mean. Yeah, I mean, if you need a reboot, we need that. But we could have minimized it if we only did it during when a restart was required, which gets us back to the whole discussion about registering the bundle up front and all that. All right, we're not doing that, and we're not changing that behavior in preview. It doesn't have to be changed in preview zero. Uh, repository organization, I probably could close this. Um I'll look at that whip and get rid of it. Um, provide a way for burn to recover from a hacked MSI package cache. Hmm. That does not have to be preview zero. Sounds interesting. SQL extension incompatible with TLS 1.2. SQL's not in our list, is it? I don't think it is. Uh, I don't remember having a list. Did I wrote down a list. list of the yes, Wix for preview zero. Okay. Ball extension that affects UI and util. Which well, what about behavior that's in V314, which it, it, this is? Yeah, yeah so we, this needs to come over. We, we will get this fixed, but it doesn't have to be done in preview zero. That's all I'm saying, because the extension is not preview okay. zero. No, we definitely need to fix it. No questions about that. Um, type lib cannot be repeated in both 32 and 64 bit components. Mm because of the reg key. Yeah. It do yeah, create it doesn't consider bitness in the uh um ID gen. Ah, perfectionist we have to fix this in preview zero. All right, put this in preview zero. Yeah, I'll take it. Um okay. We I'm I wonder if we've started doing this. Yeah, anyway. Which, well, uh, and it's actually interesting to cuz this will um uh, this this uh, uh, we already oh, we already assigned to preview zero the the issue about Win32 or sorry the Win64 attribute. Mm -hmm. This plays into that. Yeah, this, this plays into that. We have to we have to we can't we can't fix this one until we've fixed or implemented the other one. This is preview zero. Give this to me. I'm going to go sort all the I, I, the other NuGet ones are preview zero, so I'm going to go give that, and I will find it and put them all together. System path too long on XP and 2003 Visual Studio 2010 extension. Um, no? Uh, it's votive. It's not 4.0, so we can kick it out, but at some point, it's like, I think it is what it is, right? I don't even... Sorry, this is, this is just, it mentions Visual Studio 2010, Windows XP, I know. 2003. It's just a like blast from the past. Yeah, I know. I, I, I think this is a whole bunch of no. Interesting. All right. Ah, where was I? Okay, here we go. Uh, yeah, but this isn't, this isn't even Wix4 anymore. It's a votive. We fix it whenever Voda wants to fix it. Install message, reference, options, button, even when suppress options, UI. <laughs> uh, 
please click install option to set the continue option to set the install director a closed exit. <laughs> um, is this still true? <laughs> Just nobody's ever like nobody noticed or it's probably true. Yeah. It's low, so it hasn't changed. <laughs> also, it's low, so yeah, it doesn't have to change preview zero. Annoying. It doesn't have to preview zero either. But yeah. Definitely. Wix projects do not build with the dot net build. This is not preview zero, but it will be very quickly when we bring the Wix projects back. Wix three eleven doesn't uninstall previous version of embedded bundle during upgrade. Whoa. I don't know if this is going to be preview zero. Oh, weird formatting. Indeed, it is a breaking change. Uh, I don't know how to think about this problem. I don't think it's preview zero. It's going to be something. Uh, it's just deep in the bowels of bundle upgrades. Candle V4 crashes when non-advertised class commits context. Yeah, that should be preview zero. I may have already fixed it. Wix 4 should automatically set checksum attributes for PE files. Uh, I think this is false. Yeah. Don't my I, my memory says that Raymond Chen said that the compilers have just started setting the checksums to empty on like X's or something. It's just not a thing to do anymore. And that checksum is no longer an interesting thing for PE files. But I wish I had something concrete that I could point to that says that's true. Does anybody do this? Yeah. Yes. Oh, God. But probably I, arbitrarily. I have a customer. Yeah. I have a customer. I have a customer that intentionally wrote a bunch of code to do this. I see. Um, but you know, also it was probably written in you know Windows ninety eight days. Um, no. No Windows ME days. Sorry, ME. Sorry, ninety eight's a little too old. Um, a little bit. I don't. Should we just kill this? I think so. I don't think this is the right thing to do anymore. Okay. Uh, Let's just kill it. Huh? Localized build that. for Casca not working. In Wix UI, this must be fixed. Give this to me, because oh, Wix, wait. Oh, you have to build with that, maybe that's not been tested. A modified code page 1251. Oh, gosh. <laughs> um, hopefully, the solution to this is to use UTF-8 as the code page and everything just works from there, right? Um, I don't think I'm going to get to that in preview zero, but we'll leave it open. Bundle is okay. not registered in ARP during install if bundle is already cached. Bundle is not registered in ARP during install if bundle is already cached. Oh. So it's probably going to go in with the other registration things I'm changing. Yep. All right. It'll All probably right. just be fixed as whatever else I'm doing. Yep. All right. Uh, just. I don't know. We could put it in preview zero or not. It's not. It doesn't. It won't hold preview zero. Unable to. Well, no. <laughs> right. Um, unable to build when referencing multi-target project. Uh, that will be post preview zero, but that hopefully will start working. Unable to cast transparent proxy type Wix extension validator. Ugh, 3.11. Is this a votive thing? Yeah, this is a votive thing. Sounds like it, yeah. Yep. That doesn't have to be four. That can go off into a votive land. Add option to suppress hard linking. No. <laughs> I don't want to. Wix4 should be a little smarter about when copy versus hard link created. 
files like this. Yes. Created files like CAV should be hard linked, but loose files laid out should be copied. Yeah, this is still true. We don't have to get this right in preview zero, but we should get that right in 4.0. Yeah. Uh, burn with control guard. Uh, it's not a preview zero thing. I just have to go get that change and bring it over. Local users. Yeah, because it's, it's already been done. Yeah, it's right. Been, it's just a matter of grabbing it, bringing it's it just over. Not Along with a whole bunch of other things. So it's like, just need to sit down and do that. Local users created by MSI package is absent after major upgrade if remove existing is placed after install initialized. Oh. It's a commit transaction, so transaction matters. We should investigate whether remove user should be a normal deferred CA before install finalized to provide either way we should document. Uh, we're not going to change that. We don't have to get that done in preview zero. Standard VA string capitalization, unless there's something really kooky. Oh, yeah, look. Options to set the install directory. <laughs> um, what if we just remove options to set the install directory from the text and um, just say click to install to continue and then leave the other two buttons for people to figure out what they do themselves? I don't know. Uh, we don't have to fix capitalization now. Summary information code page not set. Yeah, okay. That's already preview zero. Hey, we're starting to get to some of the ones that we've seen before. Uh, Wix tools does not install on the targets. That's correct. We will, that's going to be solved with the SDK style project. Wix quite exec incorrectly assumes Unicode output if the first byte is a single, first read is a single byte. Interesting. Uh, that doesn't have to be preview zero. Strange. So wait, what? If we ran into a 4.0 preview zero already. I don't know. We... I wish. I I hear you. I don't think it's quite true. Um, and you know what? It's 1030. Let's stop there. We only have a couple <laughs> pages left. Sean is right that we're probably pretty close. So I'm going to write down 5843 as the number to start here. 5843. Start here. We will start here. I expect that's 58 30. I'm sorry. 58 30. What? Oh, 5 6. 5 8 5, oh, 5 8 4 3. I'm right. This one. 5 oh, 8 just... 3 0. Oh, sorry. You're going. Never mind. You're going the other way. I thought you skipped 58 30. 58 30. I don't see 58 30. Um, okay. Am I blind or is it a four oh thing? Yeah, it's assigned a four oh. Um is this a oh you're right. No, it's a um Or is this it's a page boundary because you've you, yeah, it's a sorry because you've yeah. probably resolved something and it's right on yep. the edge of a pagination problem. Great, okay. fifty eight thirty. I hit refresh. Now I okay. see it. Um elevated bundle generates files without user permissions. Yeah, don't yeah. don't elevate layout. Oh, frickin' a. See, you don't want to skip that one. For now, I well, have. I thought nope. we were gonna start here. We're gonna start at fifty-eight thirty. Yep, yeah, where Sean said. <laughs> All right, let's go back to anything else people want to talk about. We're gonna we we have plenty of stuff. Wix 4 Preview 0 has, I, I have tons of tiny little bugs that I just need to find some time again and fix them once I get out of all this other customer stuff right now. So anything else people want to talk about? Jacob, I think you're the only one out there. Uh, Sean, Bob, you guys have anything you need to talk about right now? Um, I just have some emails that have... Yes, I know. Waiting on responses. Yes, you have. I have four emails, I think, or something like that, marked as need to respond to Sean for right now. And I need to do that. I know. Um, all right. Well, on that note, 
I think we're going to call it a day. Uh, it's been an hour since we started about five minutes after. It's now 1035 here. That would put us at an hour. My Oh, yeah, my recording just said five. Oh, switched over to an hour. Hi. This UI is pretty cool when I can figure out how to use it. So on that note, we'll be back, I think, in two weeks. This Thursday thing should be working now. So that says for me September 17th. Uh, 9.30 back in the Pacific time, and however that shifts to your time zones. We'll come back. We will triage whatever Wix has for us. We will triage preview uh, zero bugs, and I expect, based on the rate that we went through them today, that we will, uh, and that we've probably seen a number of them already, uh, we will go through those last two pages next week, and that will put us into a clean spot on what is necessary for us to finish preview zero. And um, that will probably be a good meeting. And then after that, we will start talking about how close we are to shipping preview zero, I think, every two weeks. Um, and that will be our focus. So until next week, when we do a whole lot more triage, but hopefully the last big triage uh, before preview zero goes out, big triage, there will be lots of little ones. Um, you guys take it easy, and we'll be back in two weeks. Bye. Bye. Bye.